Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm clearing out the sawmill shed and getting ready to bring the sawmill back here. So I'm just about ready to go pick it up. So let's go. Got to rake some hay in my dad's hay field. Now it's time to go pick up the sawmill. We're doing some different things today. My dad's getting ready to sell his farm and he's having an auction. So I'm getting, uh, so I gotta get the mill back so I can do some saw milling. Um, to try and sell my, sell my logs and some lumber on the auction. So we got a lot to do in the next two weeks to get ready for the auction. And I've got a few sawmill jobs left to do before that. And also some other big news is that I decided to sell my sawmill so I'm getting ready to do that I got a guy that wants to come look at it in about two weeks once I have my sawmill jobs done and all that so so yeah we got a lot going on and today I've got a few different things I'm gonna be doing um, hopefully I'll be doing some sawmilling after I bring the sawmill home and then uh, my dad's gonna be baling his hay this afternoon so I'm probably going to help him out with that so maybe we'll get to see a little bit of that too lots of things going on in the next couple weeks so hopefully i'll be doing some sawmill videos so anyways there's a little life update for you guys and uh, i hope you enjoy Folks, here we are back at Larry's place, here to pick up the sawmill. I see he's got it ready to go with the tarp on it, so that was real nice of him. Over there's the lumber we got done for him, and so I hope he's happy with that. All right, let's get this thing untarped and hook it up and take it home. All right, there it is, all hooked up, ready to go. He had it pretty much good to go, except for the wheel covers. Now it's time to take her home and do some milling of my own.
folks, here we are back at the sawmill shed. We've successfully brought the sawmill home. I'm actually going to set it up out here because I've got these 20 foot beams here that I need to mill in half for a guy. So I'm going to set it up out here and probably do those right away or at some point today. Actually, it sounds like my dad is already out there baling hay, so I'm going to go see if he needs help. Got a crowd of puppies. Well, I've finished up the last little bit of bailing for Dad. I'm gonna help them stack the bales. All right, so I've got the mill set up here. Got one of these beams loaded up here. Now all I got to do is cut these in half, but as you can see, it's about four foot too long. It's not too bad, but uh, if I had another four foot extension on the mill, I could probably do it. But I'll slide it that way just a little bit more, and then I'll probably cut most of it. And my thought was that I could maybe just raise the um, Toe boards just a little bit, maybe just push the rest of it through. Either that or I'll have to flip it end for end. All right, so here we are back again. It is the next day now. Last night I got one of these milled up and here it is. I got it sitting over here on this old trailer and I think it's 10 more to go. So let's get going. So I've got it cut as far as it can go and I actually raised this up just a little bit and then slid it over as far as I could and cut it down within a few feet of the end. So I'm actually going to try to put this two foot extension on there. Um, I don't use this much because one time I had it on the tractor fork so I was trying to take it somewhere and dropped it and kind of drove over it and bent it out of shape so it's not as solid as the deck so when I cut down over it it kind of likes to bend down a little bit I don't know but I think that'll make our job a little easier here I'm gonna try to put that on there and that should help us get further along there so So I've got this thing set on here, and as you can see, it's not straight. It needs to come up a little bit. So 
what you do is you take these set screws here and screw those in or out to adjust the height. So we just got to line it up with the current track there. And then hopefully it should be good to go. All right. Now I've got this tuple extension on there, so we're going to see if we can cut through the rest of this beam. So as you know, these beams are too long for my sawmill to cut, and I tried to put the two foot extension on there, but I could only get so far, I still have to go either push it through or something. So what I end up doing is I'm cutting it all the way till the last cross bunk there, and I stick this sticker in between here so it can't roll backwards, and I take my GoPro clamp here and I use that to clamp the throttle in place so that the saw runs. And then I take loose the, uh, the clamp and put a toe strap around it and just gently pull it backwards with the tractor. And that just pulls the rest of the beam right through the saw. So it's pretty slick. And um, it's unfortunate because the way they made this um, hydraulic motor to sit it sits higher than the cross bunks on the sawmill. So I can't just pull it straight back. I gotta pull it right between the gas tank here and these levers. And I actually moved this one down because it was too tight in between there. It was bending this hydraulic lever. So I think I'm actually gonna take another one off, maybe even all, all three of these and just move them down and then I can just operate them like that. That way I can just slide these right through there. So that's how I'm doing that.
Alright, I got them all done. <laughs>